Hey everyone, sorry I haven't updated at all recently. It's because I've been doing some thinking. Recently, I've been completely unmotivated to stream, let's play, or just video, video edit in general. And the reason is that I've finally outgrown my need to entertain an audience as I do now. Let's players like I are a dime a dozen. I'm not special. I don't have something that makes me stand out among an oversaturated crowd filled to the absolute, literal tits of people wanting to make some fat video game bucks. And I don't think I'll ever get to a point where I'm satisfied or successful in this format. But you know what? That's okay. I started Let's Playing because I used to be incredibly depressed. I used to use it to stave my depression while I grew stronger and learned more until I could finally respect and stand by myself. Secondly, I'm glad I didn't make it. I've realized that in the long run of my life, I don't want to be in this long line of people who want to make video game videos for a living. I feel that there are more fulfilling things in this life than talking over video game footage. I feel... To pursue it as my life goal is nothing more than a squanderance of my youth and ambitions. I'm not judging you if you want to let's play for a job, but do consider how that will affect your life in ten years' time. Not via success or money, but your personal growth as an individual who has so much more to learn. It took me a long time to realise this because I felt an obligation to my audience, because I cared about all of you. I was so focused on this goal of mine that I didn't think about what I needed to be happy. I'm studying coding now because I want to develop a game. It could take me years, but I'm glad I'm starting now instead of whenever I realise that I'm not as young as I used to be, that I have other things that I want to fulfil. I enjoy learning. I wish to be seen as an intelligent individual who you can rely on the words of. But if I do not move on to learn new things, I will never expand my horizons. And with this, I feel as though I'm doing the right thing. Honestly, there were a lot of people I hated in this video making industry, even in streaming. I've met a lot of con men, liars, and popularity grubbers who only think about themselves with the guise of being warm spokespersons for their community. Success can rely partially on how well you network, and honestly, I'm terrible at it. When it comes to YouTube and streaming services, I criticize people who put themselves on a pedestal to call themselves a host when they're unfit to be one. Do not be a voice to the people when you blindly turn your eyes to toxic members of your community in fear that they might hate you. Do not let people walk all over you just because you're afraid of losing your audience. Do not be a clown, you are a human being. These qualities, if you hide these things, you are basically a coward. I've seen it many times in videos and on Twitch, and I do not want to share the same airspace as people like this, and you shouldn't either. You should value others' integrity to their own individuality. So I will move on and seek a new opportunity. I have a lot of life left, and I'm going to use it to live life and learn as much as I can before I die one day. We shouldn't make such long life choices before we've really lived at all. I will no longer be doing video game content, and I will no longer have need of my Facebook page. Thank you everyone, for showing me the many years of support while I grew stronger.